Hi, my name is Wayne Barker and I am the knowledge expert at the Fairfax Micro Center. Today I'm going to be talking about common wireless connection problems. One of the first ones, believe it or not, is we forget to turn the wireless adapter on. In a laptop, it's real easy. On the front of the laptop, there might be a switch or you may use the function key with one of the uh, function keys across the top of it with the wireless symbol on it or there may be a button by the power button that has the wireless symbol on it that you would press to turn it on. That's one of the first things I look for. Some of the other things that I'll look for is maybe the adapter actually connected but the Internet Explorer won't display anything. At that point I have to do three things. I will reset the Internet Explorer back to the factory defaults. The second thing I'll do is I will reset the wireless adapter to make sure the wireless driver is set correctly and then I'll also reset the windsock file because sometimes that gets corrupted. Now our first step is to go down here to the start button. From the start button we're going to open up the Internet Explorer. Now in the Internet Explorer we'll go up here to tools. Now some people may not have this menu so if you right click over here in the gray area you'll find where it'll say menu bar just select that and that will give you this menu up here select tools then go down to internet options under internet options you'll go to advanced under advanced you'll go down to reset when you click on reset you'll get another little screen and up here you'll see delete personal settings put a check mark in that and then click on reset this will reset the Internet Explorer back to the factory defaults. Remember that it also clears your home page. You will have to retype that in. Now, go down to the Start button. Now we're going to go to My Computer and right click on it and go down to Properties. If I was in Vista or 7, I wouldn't have to click on the hardware, but because I'm using XP, I click on the Hardware tab and then I click on Device Manager. In Device Manager, we're going to go where the Network Adapters is and click on it. And then we're going to right click on our wireless adapter and tell it uninstall. The computer will say, warn you, saying, look, you're about to uninstall this. We'll say OK. In Vista number 7, it may also have a little checkbox over here that says, do you want to delete the software? Do not put a check mark in there. Just click on the OK button. After Windows deletes the driver, we're going to go up to where it says Action and select Scan for Hardware Changes. The computer will see the adapter and proceed to re-put the driver in there. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and close all these windows. We're going to go down to the Start button and we're going to reset the Winsock file. We're going to go to All Programs, then we'll go up to Accessories, and then we'll come over here to the Command Prompt. Remember that if you're running Windows Vista or 7, you'll have to right click and select Run as Administrator. Then we'll click on Command Prompt. In the Command Prompt, we're going to type in the following. We're going to tell it net sh space winsock reset. And then hit Enter. When we do that, you should get this message here that says successfully reset the Winsock catalog. Then you're ready to go ahead and close the screen and reboot the computer. And then when you open up the Internet Explorer, it should open up and you should be able to see the page.